Hello and welcome to my channel. It's a wet one today, as you can see, and I'll tell you what, I struggled to get out today. My bones are aching, but I forced myself out, so I hope you appreciate it, and I hope you're gonna join me on this walk. What we're doing in this vlog is, we are going to plant my wildlife camera once again, see what we get. So we're at a nature reserve near Todmorden, and I'll tell you a little bit more about this nature reserve, and another reason why I've come here uh, later on in this vlog. So first of all, I'm looking for a location to plant my wildlife camera. And of course, we will be in this vlog coming back to pick it up on a different day, of course. Okay, really interesting area, this uh, nature reserve near Todmorden. I'll put some uh, more information in the description below of this actual location. But yeah, really interesting area. But a uh, rainy day, as you can see, and uh, I was just about to give up on planting the camera. But I was just heading down this path here, you can see the path, well walked path, really muddy, and I spotted this path along here, and it doesn't look as well walked. I don't think uh, we're getting many people walking up here, so I've just had a little look, I'll take you with me, and I can already see a pretty decent hole there. Uh, I'm almost certain with my fantastic knowledge of wildlife, not, but I'm almost certain that will be badger. And uh, the path continues along there. I'm gonna take a wander along there and uh, plant the camera somewhere along there. And it's just off the path here. Look at the view over there. Amazing views here. So I will be returning. Of course I will be returning because I've got to pick the camera up. Hopefully it'll be a better day. But uh, first of all, we have to find a place to put the camera. I'm gonna take a wander along there and see if I can find an ideal place and I think we'll be getting badges. Okay, so I found a place to put the camera and I can't show you around very well because I'm on a very steep banking, but I can see some paths coming down here and I'm gonna put it on this tree here. Now, in the last vlog, I was telling you about my wildlife camera and I've got some new mounts for it because I wasn't happy with the strap going around the tree because I thought it was quite visible. Although this is a pretty secluded place now that I've managed to clamber down to. So I'm gonna put the camera quite low down on this tree, pointing slightly downwards and uh, hopefully we'll get some badger, rabbits and uh, maybe fox. If you remember the last vlog, we got nothing. So uh, it could be nothing again. Let's hope it isn't. But that's the exciting thing about the wildlife camera. You just don't know what you're gonna get. It will be password protected, of course. I'll bring you back when I've put it on the tree and we'll have a look at how I've mounted it. So that's it. The camera has found a new location and we'll see what we get. I've got it set to uh, record video for 20 seconds. I had it set for 10 before, but I think a nice 20 second video. I've also got it set so that it will wait two minutes before it's triggered again. So that cuts down on recording too much of the same animal. Obviously if it hangs about, then we get more footage, but it's 20 second videos and one high resolution photograph. When we come back, we will take you up to the reservoir and I'll have a chat with you uh, about a few other things that are going on here. So uh, I'll see you then. So I'm back at Todmorden to pick up the camera, of course. I'm not alone today. You might be able to see just in the distance there, the gorgeous Sheila. She is with me. We're out for a Christmas walk. A Christmas walk, is that what he said? Yes, that is what I said, a Christmas walk. So how long has the camera been out? How long has the trail camera been out in the woods here? Will it still be there? Well, we've got a little bit of a walk to go on before we actually get to the camera. So uh, hopefully it will still be there. I don't know whether you can hear me over the noise of the water, but uh, we've had so much rain here in West Yorkshire over the last two weeks. A bit of a gap in the rain today, thankfully. So uh, we're not getting rained on as it is right now. But uh, look at that river. It was flowing really strong when I came before, but uh, now it's really powerful. So yeah, the camera has been out for 14 days. That's a fortnight in some cultures. We've had the winter stalk. I can't even say solstice. 
So since I put the uh, trail cam out uh, a fortnight ago, we have had the shortest day. The winter solstice has passed. The dark days are over. We are gaining about two minutes of additional daylight every day. Bring it on, that's what I say. The sunshine has just come out here and we're up at a place called Gorple Reservoir. The reservoir is just up above that embankment, of course. And we've got the moors out up over that way. And I want to walk out up over them moors uh, very soon, but not in this weather. When the weather gets better, I might even do a bit of wild camping up there. But yes, we're getting two minutes of uh, extra daylight per day. That's absolutely brilliant. So I do hope you have all had a great Christmas. Me and Sheila have had a wonderful Christmas. Um, we've just had a quiet one, just ourselves, and I have been enjoying all the luxuries of Sheila's cooking. It's freezing cold today, it's about two degrees, and the wind chill is pretty severe. So we're just going on a short walk today and we will be picking the camera up very soon. I hope it's still there. Now up in the distance there, you might be able to see there's been some tree planting going on and that's part of the new northern forest that goes across the north of England, a brand new forest. And it's being done through the Woodland Trust and they're going to be planting around 50 million brand new trees to make a brand new forest across the north of England, which is fantastic. So I'm going to go up and have a look at that at a later date. So we'll be coming back here. But today we are coming here to pick the camera up, of course, and uh, will it still be there after a fortnight? And I did suspect that we would be getting badger. Now, I was originally coming to have a look for deer up on the tops there. We're getting a bit of sleet and rain as I speak now. So I'm uh, gonna hurry up and get to the spot where the camera was planted and hope it's still there and see what footage we have got, if any. Can you imagine if after a fortnight <laughs> I've got nothing again? Yes, so if you visit the Woodland Trust website, you can actually get involved in planting some of them trees. So it's an ongoing uh, project for them. And like I say, 50 million new trees creating a new forest across the width of Northern England. So that's a fantastic project. Now, thank you for all your comments on my trail camera project that I'm doing. Um, I'm going to highlight a few of them uh, comments right now. So John Warner, he commented saying that uh, I should look up some websites on the uh, droppings. Uh, there should be some websites out there that I should be able to research the droppings. So yeah, I'll, I'll, be, uh, I'll be looking forward to looking up some shit websites. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you to Dean Dunbar. He suggested that uh, I camouflage my strap a little bit more uh, so that I can actually use the strap uh, for the camera around the tree and also to, uh, to create a sort of a DIY rain cover for the lens to stop the rain getting on the lens. I hope there hasn't been any rain on the lens uh, while it's been out for a fortnight. I can't see that not happening. I think there'll have been a lot of rain on the lens. So hopefully it's uh, sort of drained off and dried off during the day. So I'll be gutted if it's got a bead of uh, rain right on the lens for a fortnight. Surely that can't happen. I also got a comment from Steve Schnetzer. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. He said that uh, I should up the sensitivity on my camera settings and uh, maybe that's a good idea. Uh, he also said that I should be looking in the soft mode for the footprints of course and uh, I know that seems obvious but when you're out and about and you're, you're looking you can sort of overlook these things, the most simple things to do to track these animals. So thank you for that comment Steve. Now Dawn Connor from West Virginia, she said that uh, it's, it's a good idea not to put out any uh, bait because it's, uh, it's an unnatural attractant for other animals, other critters as they call them out there. So other critters will come to the area and sort of drive out the, uh, the, the wildlife. So I guess things like cats and dogs, if you're putting uh, some cat food out or dog food out for like badgers, you're gonna attract the, the wrong type of animal. So yeah, I agree entirely with that and uh, I won't be using any bait. I'm just going to hopefully look out for where the animals naturally go, where they naturally live and plant the camera uh, right there. So we are really close to where I planted the camera. I say we, because of course Sheila is with me and I've really got a feeling that the camera's not gonna be there. I really have. It's really close to uh, the main path that people walk on, but it sort of like doubles back along here. Uh, but yeah, I've just got a feeling that it's not gonna be there. I always have that feeling. 
Okay, I'm gonna walk you over to where the camera is. <laughs> Let's see if it's there. Okay, I've looked at a few trees down there from above and I, I think I've spotted the, I think I've spotted the tree that I put the camera on. And I don't think it's there. I'm gonna have to clamber down. I was hoping to spot it from above uh, and then go down to it, to sort of take you down. But I'm gonna have to clamber down here. It's very steep. And if I do find it, I'll bring you back then. And if I don't find it, I'll bring you back then and I will be crying. <laughs> Yes, the camera is still here. I really did. I really, I'm not just being dramatic. I really did think that this uh, camera had gone. There's a few trees that just look the same along the way. And uh, yeah, I was up above there. You can see Sheila there. We've, uh, we've walked along the top there and I thought I'd be able to spot it, but I didn't. Anyway, I have found it. I did mark it uh, with the GPS in case I couldn't find it, but I did spot it. So it is still here. Let me just show you how I've mounted it. I've mounted it with one of these new mounts that I said. And I did get, uh, I did get a comment actually from uh, Jeff. Jeff said, uh, don't put holes in trees. <laughs> but uh, yeah, give me your comments on your thoughts. Should I use the strap or should I use a mount like this? Uh, I'm happy to use the strap, but I just uh, thought I'd give this a trial. And, uh, I have actually got something coming in the post today that's going to help me camouflage the whole strap and the camera because uh, as you can see I'm really worried about losing the camera. These cameras are relatively cheap though, I definitely recommend the Campark T45. It's only about 60 quid so if you did lose it, in fact the batteries that are inside it cost nearly as much as the camera. <laughs> Let's see what footage we've got, I almost forgot to look for the footage. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna look at the footage here. We've done this before. You can't really see it on the GoPro very well on the screen that is in the camera. But uh, I am going to show you what footage I got, if any, in a moment and uh, tell you what I thought. And let me know what you think about the footage, if we've got any, in the comments section below. And let me know, of course, about the mount situation with the strap. And thank you for all your previous comments on these uh, wildlife camera trail cam videos. That's it for this one. I'm gonna leave you with the footage that I got and uh, we'll have a talk about uh, the footage in my next vlog. That's it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Consider subscribing, I upload a vlog every month. Until the next one, bye.